So, it's that time of year again, the playoffs. Awesome. Uh, of course, the Sabres aren't in it, which sucks, because that's my team. But, whatever. You know, still really looking forward to watching these. I think there's some awesome matchups. Um, you know, it's just that time of year. The weather's getting nicer, Easter time, whatever. And it just, I associate it with the playoffs. Um, as you can see, we're getting lovely spring weather here in Buffalo. But that's how it goes. Um, so I'm just going to give some of my predictions as to what I think could happen. Out west, there's uh, the Avs and the Wild. I think the Avs are a really good young team all of a sudden after getting, you know, the first pick. Uh, obviously, that'd be the mold that I would love to see the Sabres somehow be able to fit, um, whether it happens or not, whatever. But um, I think the Avs in five. Uh, I know the Wild have a, have a good team too, but just personally, I see the Avs taking this one pretty soundly. Then you got the Blues and Hawks. Uh, I could see the Blues pulling this one out in probably like six. Um, I know the Hawks are a really good team, and probably the Blues are the underdog. But I just have a feeling that if Miller gets going and the uh, you know they get back to that defensive kind of game that was putting them on pace to win the President's Trophy, and then they just recently had kind of a shit in the bed kind of thing. But I think they could pull out of that and. I personally could really see them winning this series. Ducks versus Stars. I think the uh, the Ducks are a stronger team. Uh, I could see this going six, um, but I I would pick the Ducks. Sharks versus Kings. Uh, I could see this being good long series. Um, I have the Sharks in seven. I uh, I think the Sharks are kind of due to go on a deep run. Uh, maybe even make it to the finals this year. I mean, I know people have been saying that for probably 15 years about the Sharks, but I've always thought that they've had a good, you know, big team, and I could see them being what some people would call an upset. I could see them pulling this one out in seven. Now moving out to the east, you've got the uh, the Bruins and the Wings. Um, I think the it's amazing how long of a streak the Wings have had. Uh, the year before I was born was the last time they missed the playoffs, which is, I mean, ridiculous when you consider the parity, especially in the National Hockey League. Um, I could actually see the Wings uh, pulling this one off. I would also love to see that happen compared to the Bruins winning because they're not, in particular, one of my favorite teams. Um, but, yeah, I could see the Wings winning this in six, just I think it's actually a pretty evenly matched up thing. And uh, I think the Wings struggled when they had a lot of injuries. And I think, you know, Grand Rapids has come in and really uh, given them a lot of great players. And I think uh, as they're getting a little bit healthier, I could see this um, them taking this one. Lightning versus Habs. I think this is a pretty even series, too. This is probably going to be a good one, but um, I can see the Habs taking this in six. The Pens versus Jackets. I don't know. This is just wishful thinking how much I would love to see the Jackets win this series and pull off this upset. I'm taking the Jackets in six. No reason pretty much other than, you know, they are a good young team. They've got some size, and Bobrovsky's... When he's on, he's on, and uh, I think this is wishful thinking mostly. Flyers versus Rangers, um, not in particular either one of my favorite teams at all, but um, I think this is going to be one of the really good series in terms of being fairly evenly matched. Two similar kind of teams, I think, in a lot of ways, um, but I think the Rangers could pull it out, especially if uh, Lundqvist plays to the level that he really can. And I could see this one going to seven and the Rangers winning in seven.